tricky chords. Your beginning therapist, a regular therapist, me. I, I'm, there's 10 things you're doing at once, maybe 20 things going on at once, and your chords go out the window, and you say, I could play this at home. I could play this in my class. How come I can't play it when I'm actually doing the therapy? You're thinking of many things, but the important thing is keep strumming. Don't tell your clients that you're messing up. They may not even notice. And if they do notice, you could tell them that it was an interesting dissonance that you wanted to resolve back down so everybody would feel satisfied and better. All right? Uh, Fs are a tricky chord for many beginning students, right? Hard to do? Well, just pick up that ring finger. There it is. That's a D minor seven chord. There's seven. You can even play a D minor if it's a quick D minor or, you know, a quick F. But another way to get by is to play an F major seven. Right? So you don't even have a finger right there. You're just letting the E string be open, but don't focus on that E string. Just grab the chord where your fingers are down. The notes that are active, F, A, C, that's what you want to be playing. If you see an E flat go by fast, uh, you can play a G minor. If you see a B flat go by fast, you can get by with a D minor. But D minor is, G, G minor is pretty easy. It's just the top one, three across. And uh, D minor is like this. This is B flat. I'll have a picture of that for you. It's, it's not that bad. Bar chords can throw some people off. Uh, here's a simplified bar chord. I want to call it a cheater bar chord, right? I'm playing my E major here. And here's my bar chorded F, right? Well, why do I have to play that top high note? I can really just focus on, on this bottom note. That'll be my whole bar chord, is, my whole bar is just on that one note, and then you get this. Whoops, not supposed to play that, uh, that B. So that's a way to get around some bar chords. But they will just come if you practice five, ten minutes every day, instead of an hour before your lesson. It's easier that way. Some chords have better, more easily usable ways to play them than you might have first learned them. Most obvious chord is a G. A lot of people learn the G like this. That's how I learned it. Until somebody showed me the wonder of picking up my index finger and then you get a G like that. Um, here it is. There. The good thing about playing this kind of a G is that you can go back and forth to the C so easy. Why wouldn't you want to know how to do that? Also, it's good to play an E minor with your index finger up. Of course, you could go really quick to an E major. Not that that happens that often. But um, to play your E minor this way. And I actually I like to play E majors with that index finger up as well. A minor is just normal. Tricky chord B7. Here's your D, right? It's a D major chord. Here's a D7 chord. I call it an up down, upside down triangle shape. The exact same shape goes over two sets of strings. That's most of your B7. Then you just stick your pinky on there and that's your B7, which often wants to go to the E. So here's your D7. Take it down and then play, play your B7. So that'll help you think of B7 in a different way and it's not quite so hard. Cool and easy chord progressions. Here we go. An E major, and my index finger is up, right? E major. What that is, is I'm playing the E major, and I'm just moving this entire shape over or down one, uh, one set of frets. So it goes, let me try to strum this. Back up two down to and back home to E. And that has a nice, you can do some nice Latin things with that or throw that in. You can do the same thing in the key of A, right? Here's your A major chord. Take it up one set of frets. That's like a B flat. Here's a sort of C. B flat. So that'll help. Not so tricky but it sounds good. Here's something really pretty, a nice, airy, fresh sound. Key of E, right? Same shape. 
Okay, up six reps. That's like an A. Here's E. Is I'm keeping a here's here's your E home bass chord, taking it up six frets. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And then up another two, down two, and back home to E major, right there. Something else that sounds pretty is this chord progression. Um, sorry, my guitar is uh, like I said, it's old and I'm holding it funny. This, is, this takes two shapes, the shape of the A major in regular form and the shape of an A minor on the third fret. So it switches from A major shape to this A minor shape, up two frets, down two frets, and back home to A. I'll show you what it sounds like. Here we go. So that's pretty. Two more um, chords that they're interesting because they will pull kids' attention. Is uh, instead of you know your basic one, four, or five, you, you can go one. It's a C major chord or C major seven to an F minor seven over D. It has this effect. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. Just it's, it's very pulling. It's got an emotional quality to it, and all it is is here's a C major seven. Here it is, right? Those first three strings on the first fret. Another key to do that in is A major. Here's A major to a D minor sixth. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. Sky. And that's simply I'm playing D minor and then I'm picking up this ring finger. There it is. Last thing I want to show you is um, kind of like an old time rock and bass line or guitar line, but uh, it goes with Go Johnny, go, go, go. Go Johnny, go, go, go. What I'm doing is I'm really thinking of only playing two strings at a time. It's an A chord and a D chord and an E chord because I'm in the key of A, right? So um, I'm focusing on the E string and this uh, D string, those two, and I go like this. So that my pinky, and this is like a kind of a, you know a short hand of an A chord. So my pinky is is uh, going on to the fourth fret, and then naturally back down to that second fret. Right, and then the same thing, kind of a half. Actually, I'm playing sort of a, a half of a D chord. Right, it goes. And, on the E string so that comes in handy uh, with a whole bunch of songs it's not so hard you practice it a little bit it's the same thing same shape on three different locations in the guitar and it gets you by pretty far so those are some of the things I've thought of so far to pass on to you if you have any questions or anything you want to ask or anything you'd like to add, please comment and share this video with all of your friends and check out my website, musictherapytunes.com. Have a great day.